Hi, I'm Vince Weston, and this is my first update, but before I get into that, uh, I wanted to say I hope everyone had a uh, happy and safe Thanksgiving, but on to this. Um, this is uh, my first update for the uh, Twisted Clown Military Appreciation Build, and I want to start out by saying thank you to Twisted Clown for hosting this because it kind of got me out of my uh, comfort zone. I have never done a 135th military. This is what most armor guys consider a soft skin um, for obvious reasons. Uh, I've always been shying away from these kits a little bit because there is a fairly large parts count. This one in particular has about uh, it's over 130 parts so there's lots of little pieces and actually my uh, carpet dragon got a hold of a couple of them through some miracle I was able to wrestle them back and uh, haven't lost any parts yet there are some real small ones here uh, what I've decided to do was I wanted to um, break this down into sub-assemblies before I painted it. So, this is just kind of quick shoved together. Um, and I'll start moving them apart. Uh, let's see. Take that off there. So, I've got uh, basically we'll call it four sub-assemblies completed. Uh, most of the cab, I'll take my driver out for the moment, most of the cab is done. Uh, I haven't done, well, seats in there, but anyway, I haven't done any of the, the seats, the dash, uh, or any of that of this. Uh, I figured it'd probably be easier to paint all these sub-assemblies as opposed to painting individual pieces and so it uh, it should work out <laughs> I'll say that um, part number two is of course the bed and I've got most of the parts on that including the chocks if they'll show there they are on the uh, back of the flaps and this was where I started, which of course is the the chassis. Uh, I've built up a lot of it. I haven't done the front end because I'm a little fearful of uh, the drive shafts that have to come in. Uh, the way the instructions work, it you basically get to this point, and then you put the drive shafts in, and then the front end. So I didn't want to get too far ahead of myself and then have problems later trying to get the parts to fit together because this is fit together so well. I was really stunned with this um, f chassis because this was all individual pieces that had to be glued together and of course had to be square and plumb and they fell together pretty well. I think I built most of this, if not well, except for a couple of little the add-ons, the main part of the chassis in, in, in a few hours at most. It was probably about an hour. I had most of it all together and it was square and worked out really well. Uh, I've put a couple extra pieces on the gas tank and the battery box because uh, I just thought it'd be easier to paint. I've also got the winch. Uh, this is actually an option in this kit as to whether you want to put the winch on or not. Uh, so I decided to go with one with a winch. I haven't put the winch itself in yet. Let's see if I put my big hands behind there. Maybe it'd be easier to see. Um, because uh, I've got a plan for the spool that I want to actually use uh, a really dark gray wire I have that looks like steel. And uh, so I, I think that'll work out better than me trying to paint the spool that's there. I'll just wrap that around and keep it neat and super glue it down. 
to keep it looking well. And then, something that really took a lot of time that I did not expect was the tires. Uh, there are 11 tires, well, wheels and tires in this kit, or, yeah, in this build, I should say. And, um, of course, there's the back, uh, well, eight, <laughs> and for the dually portion of it, and a spare, and then the two fronts. Well, each one of these is a half. And I've never had to do that before of gluing it together. And then it was two halves. I don't think this is going to show up too well. Split down the middle this way. And then I uh, had to glue them all together. And of course I, I used my glue welding method. And I was able to just sand down the insides and get rid of the seam. So they came out really pretty well. Once I get some paint on them, they'll look a little better. One of the other things I'm working, going to work with is a template to paint the wheels themselves. And this is just a, a circle guide, or a circle template. And I found one that's appropriate to the size. You just lay it over there and spray to your heart's content. And then I'll paint the wheels after that's all done. Uh, tip I picked up through probably Fine Scale Magazine. Uh, so it's my first attempt trying that. And I'm hoping that works out. Uh, the next, uh, next thing up is uh, I need to get these all painted. And of course, uh, there's uh, this is all OD Green. Uh, which I had trouble with <laughs> in a strange sort of way. Uh, I could not find a can of tester spray for olive drab green. Yeah, I went to two different stores, actually three, and could not find anybody that carried it. So uh, I had a bottle, uh, testers one quarter ounce bottle or one ounce bottles. So I'm mixing up my own and I'll be um, airbrushing it. That's going to be fun. Uh, I wanted to use enamels on this. Um, well, I kind of wanted to use acrylics, but I decided that I was, was going to use enamels because I want to do some weathering, kind of like what it shows on the box. One of the other things I found really neat in the box, or about the box, <laughs> that I wanted to point out, Sorry, it's a little heavy, is if I can get it in focus and in frame. Right there, there's actually a handprint that the guy that built this put in. Let's see, I can't get it in there. That might work. Right there is a handprint. So, <laughs> I'm hoping to include that. The next uh, thing that I came up with was I, I wanted to there is a figure included and I wanted to use him because of course military appreciation uh, you, you need to have at least a military guy in it but they only provide a driver and he seemed kind of lonely so I've come up with an, uh, an additional plan uh, one of the things I, I, I I'll have him sitting in as the driver but uh, at leisure. Uh, so I've modified his left arm to be straight and I've turned his body a little from being um, straight up like he's driving and uh, actually this arm will rest right on the, the well here of, of the cab and what I've decided to do was I'm going to add this. Uh, I bought this several years ago. Uh, it's a pair of U.S. Army motorcycles, as you can kind of see. Uh, I 
actually have plans for one of them for another project that I'm going to do sometime in the future from a, a mini arts kit I bought um, kind of post-apocalyptic but I need the the motorcycle so I'll be building this one uh, the other thing is in the kit this guy's not at rest he's actually riding so he'd be right it looked like it, he actually sits on the bike with his feet on the well they're not pegs actually they're um, boards uh, so I want to take this guy and I'm gonna have him talking to the driver in my little scene uh, so I've got a feeling oh well before I get to that um, the kit actually comes with two sprues and again this is an Italiari kit strangely enough uh, I'm, I'm actually really happy with this kit because like I said there's large parts counts and they fit really well I mean I've been overly impressed um, with minimal flash but this this is the one of the two sprues and this builds up to be the entire bike plus the driver rider okay the other one's very much the same except for the rider <laughs> so there was there's obviously two, two sets of molds for this kit to make the the two bikes and the two different riders it's not just all the same that's part of my plot and plan so this this is going in as an additional part I'm hoping uh, I'll probably build a base uh, it'll probably be just a, a roadside base with uh, the two men talking to each other and I'm thinking about calling it pit stop uh, <laughs> like everyone has run off into the woods and the two guys are just sitting chatting waiting for them all to come back so that's uh, pretty much all of, as far as I've gotten so far and my plan at this point he looks so strange sitting like that um, we'll put him back over in the cab that's what I've got for now uh, thanks for watching once again I hope you had a happy and safe and healthy Thanksgiving and I hope you all have a happy and safe holiday season that's coming up and we'll be talking at you as soon as we can uh, Thanks for watching again. Bye.